let's start this video with one question. Have you ever imagined what if your favorite people or your idol have an eating disorder due to their work pressure and other expectation of body image could drive them to having an eating disorder? Well, that was what people who were fans of the middle father felt. People who were so downhearted to know that their idols have bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa, which are parts of the eating disorders. But still, many people do not really know about bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa. What are their differences? Are they dangerous? Are they even durable? In our talk today, the topic we want to discuss is the difference between anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa that can be divided into its meaning, symptoms, and treatment. Most people just know in general about Okay, what's our position? We are from Group 6, a student from Sebelah Smart University, majoring in psychology, and we are intrigued to find out more about eating disorders. Only by our knowledge, we can save our beloved people from this kind of this condition. We were gathering some of the information based on the credible sources, such as international journal, valid data and website, and any other relevant sources. Okay, so start, to start this discussion, we should know that bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa are both psychological mental problems that affect the eating behavior of their patients, but they can be cured. First of all, you have to go to the doctor to make sure this, this disorder, and then the doctor will give you the best way to treat this disorder. As we mentioned earlier, now we're going to talk about our specific point, which are divided into two main points, each of which is further divided into three sub-points. We will discuss more deeply about these two disorders so that the general public can gain a new understanding and perspective on this matter. Okay. Take a look at the picture above and let's observe together. The data tell us that women are more likely to have eating disorder than men, with a range of percentage in anorexia nervosa, 19%, bulimia nervosa, 60%, and balance for pinch eating. So, what makes women more susceptible in disorder? Therefore, for more information about eating disorder, we will go into the main point. First, let's know the part about anorexia nervosa. <clears throat> First of all, let's talk about its definition of anorexia nervosa that people know. People who have anorexia nervosa were known for their behavior to restrict themselves from getting too much portion of foods with extreme diets. Anorexia nervosa is one of the eating disorder characterized by first, fears too much about the increase of their weight. Second, difficulty maintaining an appropriate body weight for height edge and stature. Third, in some people, they have distorted body image of their own body. Due to three of them, people who have anorexia nervosa will restrict them the number of calories they eat, the types of food they eat, and even are willing to stay in hunger in order to keep their own weight. DSM-5 also including the types of anorexia nervosa. One is the restricting type. During the last three months, the individual has not engaged in recurrent episodes of being eating or purging behavior. This subtype describes presentation in which weight loss is accomplished primarily through dieting, fasting, and or excessive exercise. On the other hand, is the one uh, being eating or purging type. During the last three months, the individual has engaged in recurrent episodes of being eating or purging behavior. Okay, let's next to the next discussion, our next point. After we talk about the definition of anorexia nervosa that has so many means in there, I have to continue this page to give knowledge to you about anorexia nervosa symptoms. The symptoms anorexia in general that people know is related to starvation or extremely strong fear of gaining weight or becoming fat. There are three types of the symptoms. Uh, there are physical, emotional, and behavioral. First, about the physical symptoms. Okay, include extreme weight loss or not making expected developmental weight gain. 
scans, dehydration, low blood pressure, irregular heart rhythms, abnormal blood counts, thin appearance, dry or yellowish skin, and constipation and abdominal pain. People with this disorder tend to have a high risk of experiencing malnutrition. The next context is emotional symptoms. Okay, the symptoms is include flat mood, lack of emotion, denial of, hung or of hunger or making excuse for not eating, fear of gaining weight that may include repeat waking or measuring the body, preoccupation with food, frequent checking in the mirror for perceived flaws, frequently skipping meals or refusing to eat, and reduced interest in sex. People with this disorder tend to feel unhappy and dissatisfied with themselves or feeling insecure. Okay, last aspect I like to consider is behavioral symptoms. Include separately restricting food intake through dieting or fasting, exercising excessively, and self induced vomiting to get rid of food. Okay, in addition, I have some valid data from research reports from Clinical Pediatric Journal that supports my argument. Okay, the case report is there are a 14 years old female with a history of anxiety and anorexia nervosa. And she was referred for several hypernatremia after presenting with fatigue. For your information, hypernatremia is level of sodium in blood is too high and involves dehydration. So she uh restriction uh four to five kilogram weight loss. She also report a propensity for salty food and develop a new expectoration behavior, constantly saturating large number of tissues with saliva. But she denied the use of diuretics, laxative, and projective. Other than fatigue, her neurologic examination remained normal. Next to the treatment. Okay, so when you experience the symptom as described previously, you don't have to worry because there are several ways to cure this disease. But first, you should check and make sure to get the best advice from the expert. Okay, now we're going to talk about about treatment to cure anorexia nervosa. The, the first one is therapy. The therapy that we're talking about is physical, psychological therapy. There are three types of psychological therapy that can be used to cure anorexia nervosa, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, analytical cognitive therapy, and interpersonal therapy. The second way is joining Kate Wayne program. When people with anorexia have lost most of their weight, it is necessary to join a weight recovery program supervised by a doctor. The third one is antidepressant drugs. People with anorexia nervosa also tend to suffer from other mental disorders. Therefore, doctors will usually prescribe antidepressants at doses that are considered. The fourth way is routine health checkup. Anorexia can also cause a number of complications in the body. Therefore, people with anorexia need a regular checks up to monitor their physical condition. After we talk about anorexia nervosa, let's move on to discuss about bulimia nervosa. Bulimia is an eating disorder in which a person has regular episode of eating a very large amount of food, during which the person feel a loss of control over eating. The person then uses different ways, such as vomiting or laxative, to prevent weight gain. Specifically, there are two types of bulimia. The first one is purging types, when the binge episode is followed by in self-induced vomiting or misuse of laxative or diuretics. This is the most common form of bulimia. The second type is non-purging types, when the binge episode is followed by excessive exercise or fasting. After we learn about the types of bulimia, you may wonder why do people experience bulimia and what causes them to develop it. The excess cause of binge eating is known. It can be due to multiple factors such as genetic, psychological, familial, social, or cultural factor. In most cases, bulimia is rooted in intense dissatisfaction which one experience low self-esteem or an obsession with weight loss. Okay. <clears throat> the next spine is a blood symptom of bulimia nervosa. The symptoms are signs of bulimia nervosa in general that people know are fear of gaining weight, desire to lose weight, dissatisfaction for their, their bodies, but it's not that simple for that. So, we will discuss the symptoms of bulimia nervosa more clearly in this section. 
Bulimia nervosa, commonly called bulimia, is serious potentially life-threatening eating disorder. Bulimia sign of symptom may include being preoccupied with their body shape and weight, uh, living in fear of gaining weight, repeated episode of eating norm abnormally large amounts of food in one sitting, feeling a loss control during pinching, like you can stop eating or can control what you eat, force yourself to vomit or exercise too much to keep from gaining weight after pinch, using lactatic diurex or enemas after eating when they are not needed, fasting, resisting calories, or avoiding certain food between pinch, using dietary supplement or herbal products, exercise for weighting loss. Weight loss sorry. First of all, let's talk about the general treatment of bulimia nervosa. The treatment of bulimia nervosa in general that people know are psychotherapy, drugs, and nutrition counseling. The main focus of treatment for, uh, for bulimia nervosa is treating mental disorder, experience by patient, and improving eating habits. The treatment of bulimia nervosa in general uh, that people know is Firstly, we discuss psychotherapy treatment. Psychotherapy or counseling aims to assist patients in rebuilding positive attitude and talks towards food and eating patterns. There are two types uh, of psychotherapy that can be done. For example, this can be done with cognitive behavioral therapy and interpersonal therapy. Secondly, we discuss treatment drugs. To relieve the symptom experienced by, by the patient, the doctor will give fluoxetine. This drug can also relieve depression and anxiety disorder experienced by patients. Finally, we discuss the last treatment, namely nutritional counseling. Nutritional counseling aims to change eating patterns and insight towards food, increasing nutritional intake in the body and slowly increasing body weight. Okay, as we have already learn about two kinds of eating disorders, it marks uh, our ending in this video. Hope this video will create a better perspective uh, against the well-known assumption that bulimia and anorexia are the same disorder. Overall, in this video, we learn about the differences between anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. The differences between these two pieces can be seen from the definition, symptoms, and how to treat them as we already explained in this video. As we refer to the beginning, eating disorder are curable, but it takes a lot of effort and time to detect. We should already understand it and need to have the patient feel safe about their body and of course to have make them, uh, them make a healthy body image. The more you understand, the less you judge. Eating disorder have never been someone's desire in their life. There are people who need our support regardless of their own body shape. Sometimes your understanding is worth a thousand times better than your own judgment. As we are at the end of the video, let me quote something for Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato on set to her fans, I wish I could tell every young girl with an eating disorder or who has harmed herself in any way that she's worthy of life and that her life has meaning. You can overcome and get through anything. Keep growing and never stop learning. Okay, that's all from us, group six. Thank you.